Yes, stay. The word spread through the mist of the dream, slicing it in two. Thomas spoke quickly. I was just trying to find my sock. The last the elevator interrupted. It was told by the old wise one. You will let us back to the low. We were chosen to take the journey up. Bravest, cleverest, strongest, only they could climb. We built as we went up. We were foolish. We were tricked by herders. They came from below the Lotsin's empire. Shadows, darkness, yet some say they're watching from the beginning. Planning. Not so long for you. Still not afraid of the dark. She giggled and began to rock back and forth while stroking Teddy's hair. Big brave boy, not afraid of the dark. No, no, no. Big brave girl. No, no, no. And Turpitan said as the chief began his ascent. To all he seek knowledge. Use it wisely. For all he believe in the time of the reckoning. Be strong. For all he believe in hope, know this. That if we can reach the above and set foot in its soil. Then we can accomplish lots of things. And from that day. Lost as Indian Empire was. Yes. I am just fishing. But you. I sent an army for you. Please only came for my socks and socks. No, you're not a hero. Socks, you're a hero? No, but you don't look like a hero. You had to escape something. Seen a few, you know. Always escaping. Never see me, though. More than you think. Up there. Escaping. But I'll try to speak. But words not utter from thy stuttering mouth. I was a coward. Coward. Hear me, I send an army, my best, for this, for this, and he wakes the meloth, the meloth. It behoves me. He still does not slumber. A great headache in my mind. Because of thee. Close your eyes, Teddy. Cut only by the girl's voice. Big brave girl. I'm not afraid of the dark. He repeated the words out loud. Not afraid.